Hey guys, I'm back to do a book review on Shiver by Maggie Stiefvater. Um, yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> um, when I first started this book, it was um, it's it's a good book. I actually, before I finished it, I did a review of it on um, Goodreads and I gave it three and a half stars. Um, but then I just finished it and now I would like to up it to four stars. Um, the ending to me was unpredictable. Okay, maybe it was predictable to some people. To me, it wasn't. I thought, like, I, I knew something was going to happen, but anyways, let me get to the back to the beginning. Um, when I first started reading the book, I, uh, it was, seemed familiar to me. The plot was very familiar to me. Um, you know, the girl falling in love with, with the boy who happens to be a werewolf, um, and that's okay with her, and, you know, she's not shocked by this or anything, you know, it's just like, like an everyday occurrence to her. Um, I have to say, it kind of reminded me of Twilight. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Twilight anymore, but um, that doesn't mean Shiver, it doesn't mean don't read Shiver because it's, you need to read Shiver. Don't, don't listen to me because I'm comparing it to Twilight. Um, so it was a good book, you know, I was like, it kept my attention. Um, you know, basically that's what it was about. This, this boy that's a werewolf, he changes. Um, when the weather gets cold, so in the summertime he's human, and in the winter he's um, he's a werewolf. Well, Grace, the girl, she always watched the wolves out of her windows um, every year. Um, and there was this one certain wolf that she always watched because he was always at the edge of her property, edge of the woods and everything, um, always watching her. And one day um, she, one day, um, a boy ends up disappearing, sorry. A boy ends up disappearing, and everybody says that the wolves got him and that the wolves killed him. So a search party goes out to go find the wolves and to kill him. And Grace is like, no, no, you know, you can't, you can't kill the wolves. You know, these are her wolves now. She's, you know, attached to them, and but of course she doesn't tell them. Um, and by the time she makes it home that night, there is a naked boy on her back porch and he's bleeding and everything and um, she ends up helping him of course and finds out that that he's actually the wolf that she always watched and like I said she doesn't seem too shocked by it is it seemed like it was like any weird thing that oh my god this boy actually turns into a werewolf um, but you know whatever and uh, so the rest of the story, or a majority of the story after that, is just basically about them two and about him trying not to turn into a werewolf because the weather's getting colder now. So a lot of it's him fighting it and, you know, trying to stay human as long as he can. And um, then towards the end of the story, he can't fight it anymore, and he turns into a werewolf. And he thinks this is the last year that he was able to turn human, so he's going to be a werewolf now forever. Um, they're also trying to find a cure. Uh, Grace and one of her friends, Isabel, are actually trying to find a cure um, to stop people that have been bitten from turning into werewolves. And um, of course, that's like very hard to do. And I don't really want to say too much because I don't want to give the story away. That's why I'm kind of jumping in. So I apologize for that. Um, but uh, it's just, it was a really good book really good book um like i said when i got to the end of it because at the beginning i was thinking you know what i don't know if i'm going to keep it because i only like to keep books that i really like um it was a good book but it just seemed really familiar you know like other books and that and but then as i got to the middle of it and more towards the end i'm like you know this is actually pretty good because then acts a little bit of action and stuff started happening and stuff and then once i read the last page literally the last page oh my gosh um the reason why I really like this book. Um, I love the love story, the romance of it, of Grace and Sam. Um, I mean, it's just this total, like, being in love with each other. I mean, it's the same thing that Bella and Edward had, I feel, um, where nothing else mattered but their love for each other. And it's so much easier when you're younger, I think, because you don't have all the responsibilities of a job and bills and kids and everything to kind of keep you busy also um i mean i have that love for my husband now i'm completely 100 percent devoted to him um and i actually feel in love with him still after 11 years but um 12 years 13 years 
it's been a long time. Um, but I think when you're kids too, because it's so, everything's so much more intense, the love that you think you feel or that you do feel for another person is so much more intense and it's all consuming. And to, especially to see a guy that cares for a girl that much where he does anything for her, that's just, you know, it's like things you only read in books or you see on TV, you know, and I just love reading things like that. And that's what Grace and Sam had. And I just love it. I love reading things like that. Um, and like I said, the action came towards the end. Um, and then the last page. Yeah, so you got to read Shiver um, by Maggie Steve Otter. Linger is the next book. Um, so I'm definitely going to pick that up. Very excited to continue the series. Yeah. Sorry, this review sucked. I know I'm all over the place. I'm just really excited about the book, but I can't say too much. So I'm stumbling over my words trying to make sure I don't say something I shouldn't. Um, you know what? I do have a comment, though. Um, I noticed, like, last couple of videos, somebody's given me the thumbs down. Only one person each time. And, I mean, I'm not saying everybody has to give me a thumbs up, but if you're the person giving me a thumbs down, if you just want to message me on the side and let me know why you did, um, maybe it's something I can improve or change. Um, you know, hints, tips always help. So, um, we went to Walmart today to get Norton antivirus for my son and daughter's computer. And, of course, I had to get a book. But Walmart's book selection completely sucked. Like, completely sucked. I hate it. But I felt like I couldn't leave without a book since my husband was paying for it. Um, so I ended up getting Nightlight, a parody. And it's the Harvard Lampoon. Um, it says, not a, major motion, not a major motion picture. And, of course, it's a parody of Twilight. I'm sure everybody's heard of it. Um, it's not real long. It's like it's 154 pages um, but I just thought some humor on it you know I just I think it'd be fun a funny book to read so um, that's about it I'm gonna start reading I think the book thief by uh, was it Mark Zuzak Marcus Zuzak um, somebody requested that I should read this book next um, it's a really long book though and I have a really hard time with that, um, especially when the words aren't that big. But it's supposed to be a really good book, so, you know, if it keeps my attention, I should be able to really work through it. So, um, that's it for now. And, yeah, I think that's it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.